Hey, what's going on everybody? Frank Valkyria, welcome to my channel. It's always a pleasure to see you here. I really mean it. Thank you so much for the support, for spending time with me, for sharing the videos, all of that. We're just entertaining each other, sharing music from everywhere. Today we're doing a special tribute to Cassiano, which unfortunately passed away. Um, I was aware of his uh, sickness a week ago or so when you guys reached out on Instagram and sent me messages about that he was hospitalized. Apparently it wasn't for COVID. He had problem with the lungs and um, and he, he just uh, now I don't know exactly the causes of death, but that's what you told me last week or so. So it's really unfortunate because uh, it's already a difficult time. And of course, people don't stop dying of other causes. And it's just, uh, you know, the strange cycle of things that uh, sometimes we just don't want to get to it in terms of confrontation. Cassiano was 77 and honestly, you know, could have lived longer. It's uh, truly unfortunate that, um, especially for Brazil, that people are so musical and attached to their musicians more than, you know, to their governments or whatever. At least this is what I'm learning starting to learn about the Brazilian audience. So I understand the, the value of those figures. You know, I did a, a few reactions. I think I did uh, a first song of Cassiano quite some months ago, and I really loved it. I really loved the, the Marvin Gaye uh, vibe. And also the, the last song I reviewed, I think was from the same album, was super awesome. I, I really loved the sound. So. In that way, I just want to do a little celebration tribute to what those artists leave behind. Unfortunately, in this period, we have had, you know, several. Uh, also, the you know the British artist Nick Hammond passed away a few days ago. Unfortunately, also quite young, at 59. Uh, unfortunately, for complication due to cancer. So it's always super, super sad, and um, it always makes you, wow. I mean, I don't want to go philosophical on this. I know it's my tendency to start to go, in, you know, into into depth, into those things. The confrontation with the unknown, the confrontation with the end, the direction where we all, you know, are heading. It's uh, it's always strange. It makes you desire to cherish what is here right now, you know, both with the people you love and the people that you cherish, you look up to, the people that give us stuff like in this case musicians which they truly enrich our life that's probably a reason why i've always attempted uh, to make music myself you know somehow to give a little contribution into that realm of the soul uh, for for others anyway guys let's go and enjoy uh, cassiano melissa rest in peace whatever you are condolences to his family and loved ones let's go guys fantastic i love it <clears throat> i love this intro with the, a little bit of electrified guitar and uh, the acoustic on top of it nice leak Oh man, this R&B in it. Oh jeez, this stuff. I mean, uh, definitely deserves to be heard. Also in the American um, 
audience it's so good of course it comes from that kind of uh, direction of uh, 70s groove that was happening in the states i think um i apologize sometimes i'm always sort of a little bit more vague on those things but i don't remember all the bands sometimes so perhaps next time uh, i i try to do those reaction truly as reactions you know not prepare them that they become full-on essays or something you know uh, but perhaps we we could also implement a little bit on that on other videos because I do enjoy making references. What it comes to mind here is that beautiful R and B uh, period in the seventies. One of my favorite, of course, Marvin Gaye. I love this sound, but of course there were so many other artists. Even Art, Wind and Fire had a little bit of that groove uh, in some songs, even though I think they resembled more. I'm thinking Art, Wind and Fire. I'm thinking Bee Gees also. For some reason, uh, maybe we should do a complementary reaction to those other bands as well, because they seem to fit in really well with Cassiano. that again that beautiful falsetto going down fantastic i love the guitar that keeps you know the steady pace as a little bit of this sort of feeling of delay in the song but also being the anchor of the whole tune you know and then you got those beats of improvisation around there's a beautiful orchestra with the violin in the back and just also the sweet like central voice coming in with the uh, with also the choir on top of his voice Beautiful, beautiful tune, man. those beautiful slow trumpets on top of it jesus this is really nice song look at that those trumpets doing something like that and also the falsetto choir a little bit more you know in the back jeez Oh, strange, that's that. 
half step, right? Well, that's so peculiar. Of course, it changes immediately a little bit the, the, the mood, you know, the dynamic. Of course, because it has this kind of repetition and slowness to it. Uh, and of course, you know, sometimes it calls for a change. So to do, I think, an half step like that, it's pretty cool also. this wailing underneath of those voice when he's doing this you know like melody na 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 something like that and then those voices underneath him for set are just swelling up super nice <laughs> I'm actually surprised that uh, th those tunes they don't have uh, as much views as I expected you know I I, I sort of imagine that uh, an artist like Cassiano was much more prominent in the in the sort of uh, Brazilian awareness the audience you know because this stuff is so good I can understand that perhaps it's too similar to the sort of um, American style you know of this R&B um this funk this folk you know like i mean this uh the, the 70s no folk this 70s funk and and uh, r&b kind of sound but it's so good it's so good such a good song really like uh, the, the old dynamic i'm i'm like this song if it was uh, in english you know could have been another classic in our awareness you know in the in the in the North American uh, uh, audience and the perhaps European audience, the same way we we think about uh, uh, Marvin Gaye, you know. So, yeah, I'm surprised. I'm actually really surprised. sound like a dead cat but i'm waking up oh my god this was so good even the last song i did last time was freaking awesome i actually want to go listen i might do uh, more of this album today because this sounds so good and i also approved the denim look with the shirt that's basically me in the summer uh totally approved castiano rest in peace this is awesome this is legacy this is gonna be here forever for anybody in the future that is gonna venture into discovering great artists definitely cassiano is gonna make that list eh? and that's awesome that's super awesome and it's gonna inspire people it's gonna inspire new artists new musicians it's just gonna inspire people in general make them dream that's what music does enriching our lives guys i'll see you later Check out the bound.